Bonjour et bienvenue à Learn French with Alexa. Today, folks, we are going to learn about indefinite articles. That's right. That's why I titled this lesson Les articles indéfinis. Indefinite articles. There is a video available for definite articles, which I invite you to watch if you have not done so already. But today, we are going to learn about indefinite articles. Now, indefinite article is a grammatical term, but what does it mean? For example, I would like you to give me an indefinite article in English. Uh -huh. Well, you definitely have one in English and it comes before a noun usually. Okay, I help you. The article is A. It designs something, something non-specific, as in there is a carrot on the table. So it is a carrot, but on the table. See here, I've used two definite and indefinite articles. A being indefinite, the being a definite article. Hmm, can you hear the difference? And how the meaning of the sentence changes just by swapping the articles over? Okay. So, indefinite article would be a, as I said, as in a non-specific thing, I use a pen, I'm reading a book. So, since you are not pointing out what book it is or have never referred to it before, you would use a. Now, let's have a look at the different indefinite articles we have in French. Well, we have two. One is un and the other one is Une. Une comes before a feminine gender, a feminine noun, a feminine thing. And un before a masculine one. Okay, so the same rule applies as to when you use a definite article, as I've stated in another video, le or la. Okay, so a word is either feminine or masculine and will either have une or un in front of it when it is in, in its singular form. And when you're saying a, a pen, a computer, a lamp, whatever. When it is plural, that means more than one, then we use the word d, d, e, s, such as tables or chairs would be in French d, table, have a look, okay? des chaises and you definitely have to put des in front of the article if you want to translate tables chairs you see in english you don't but in french you will always have to have an article in front of the noun a word which has an e at the end is more likely to be preceded by the article une for example, une table. Have a look, the ending is E. Une carotte. And again, it's a E sound, so it's likely to be une. Une lampe. That's a lamp. Une flute. And that's a recorder. Une flute. Okay, etc. So there is an E at the end of this word, so it's more likely to be une, actually, 75% of the time. We do have exceptions. Sometimes the word does not have an E and will still be feminine, such as une caméra, okay? une télévision, and that's a television, une fleur, and that's a flower. And this word does not end with an E, but it's still feminine. I know it is hard to tell when a word is feminine or masculine, but try and practice. If you get it wrong, it is not the end of the world. Okay, we would still understand what you mean. And as I say, it still sounds cute anyway. As for the masculine article, un, well, you would say, for example, un elephant. Okay, that's an elephant. Un train. Un car. And that's a coach, another car. Un chariot. A robinet, and that's a tap, as in tap of water, etc., etc. But also, you would say a livre, 
here livre ends with a ni and is not feminine but masculine so it belongs to one of these exceptions so let me explain how to use de in a sentence in french uh, i think the best way for me to do it would be by explaining it in english in english you would say for example there are apples on the table okay so apples on the table but you could also say there are some apples on the tables on the table just one table okay so the thing is in english you can say the sentence without any articles there are apples on the tables on the table i can't say it there are apples on the table what but in french we would have I mean, it's obligatory to put an article before apple in order to give it its um, uh, plural gender. And the only way we can do that is by saying D, D E S. So we would say, il y a des pommes sur la table. We would just not say, il y a pommes sur la table, like you do in English. That does not exist in French at all. We would have to put an article. And this article is D, the plural form, okay, of, uh, of this indefinite article. Il y a des pommes sur la table will translate as there are apples on the table or there are some apples on the table. Is that clear? Is that okay with you? <laughs> Okay, here's a game. Guess whether the word appearing on the screen just here is un or une. Okay, how about ordinateur? Ordinateur, which is a computer. Uh -huh, that's un ordinateur. It's a computer. It's masculine. Here's another one. Crayon. That means crayon. And it's un crayon. It's masculine. Here's another one, pain, as in some bread or bread. It's un pain, un pain, très bien. Uh, that means a bread, okay? Photo, photo, as in photographie. Well, because photographie ends with an E, it's une, une photo, okay? But we imagine that the word is not quite photo, but photographie, une photo. Feuille, and that means leaf, as in the leaf of the tree. Feuille, look at the ending, and the logic is that it's une feuille. Well done. Sofa, and that's a sofa, as in a sofa, sofa bed. Un sofa, very good. And how about araignée, and that's a spider. Araignée, une araignée, very good. It's une araignée. I know it is hard to get it right, but trust me, it comes with practice. It does. All these words that can become can become plural, by the way, just by adding D, D E S in front of them. So if you took the same words, you would say not un éléphant, but you would say des éléphants. Des Elephant. I'm doing the liaison between the S of D and the E of elephant. I can do that because elephant begin, begins with a vowel. So, elephant means elephants, okay, but we would say des elephants. Des trains, trains. Des cars, coaches. Des chariots, trolleys, etc. And we would translate this as, like I said, elephants. Trains, cars, okay? We would not, in English, necessarily put some trains, some cars, okay? But it can be both in, in, in English, as in no articles, and some, as in the article. But in French, you always, always have to put de in front of a noun, or un or une. Put an article in front. <laughs> A game. Transform the next word into its plural form. For example, un parapluie, which is an umbrella. Un parapluie. Des parapluies will be its 
it's a plural form. Okay, so I transformed un parapluie, one umbrella, or a umbrella, into umbrellas, which is des parapluies. Here's another word, un banc, which is a bench. You will transform that as des bancs. Very good, benches. The next one, vélo, un vélo, which is a bicycle. Uh -huh. In its plural form will be bicycles, but in French, des vélos. Very good. And another one, une orange. That's an orange, okay, an orange. Une orange, oui, des oranges would be uh, the plural form of oranges, okay, orange. And the last one, how would you put into its plural form une balle, as in a ball? Une balle would be des balles. Well done. Very good. It's not hard, is it? I think the hardest part would be to find whether the word is un or une. Okay. The same way as you would find whether a word is le or la. Okay. So, by the way, and one last thing, if you say une pomme, as in an apple, when you put it into its definite article form, the apple, it will be la you follow the same logic, okay? Uh, they have to be feminine all the time, okay? Not one article masculine, one article feminine, okay? So, to summarize, we have two ways of saying a. Un for masculine word and une for feminine. And by the way, they both mean one, as in the number one. So if you were to say there is one apple on the table, you would also say il y a une pomme sur la table. Okay, we don't just say un, as in one, but une, as pomme is feminine. Okay, so une, deux, trois, or un, deux, trois. Okay, that works both ways, by the way. Do you get it? Okay, so, and the last article is de, which means some, okay, when using the word in its plural form. Okay, un, une, or de. Now it's up to you, what do you want to do with this, and why don't you practice? Have a look at the French word, or an English word, try to translate it into French, and put the right article. Play with the indefinite article, which we just have seen, or the definite article, le or la. Okay? I think that's it for me today. Lots of information to take in. Have a look at this lesson again, if you wish. Okay? And I'll see you very soon. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, madame. Au revoir, mademoiselle. À bientôt. Et bisous, bisous.